Hey everybody, this is Ben and I'm doing a solar test. I'm standing behind a 4 foot by 10 foot solar hot water panel that I have set up in my backyard. Uh, it's a spring day, about 50 degrees air temperature, and the sun's been shining on this panel for about two hours. And right here I have a five gallon bucket, and in the bottom of it is just a very small, inexpensive, low head pump going to the, uh, the bottom end of the solar panel over here. The water flows through the panel, out on that end, and then through some hose over here into a copper coil that's submersed in a big bucket of water. That tub is about, oh, somewhere between 10 and 15 gallons. Uh, so the water cycles through that copper pipe, then back out into that 5-gallon bucket again. So all I'm doing is testing the exchange of heat from the solar panel into the water that's in this tub right here right now. And let's take a closer look. Uh, right here on the thermos, uh, thermometer until I dropped it. Uh, it's reading uh, about 130 degrees. And that's a nice warm temperature. I stick my hand in here and I go, ooh, warm water, wonderful. And what's kind of interesting about this is that the water in the five gallon bucket here is actually not as warm as that, which seems a little strange that the water going through the solar panel can actually be cooler than the water um, that's just being warmed up by the water in the solar panel in this bucket. But I think the reason why is that the copper tube is at the bottom of that tub for the most part, and I think there's a little bit of a, a, a thermal uh, height difference. You know, the, the hot water kind of rises to the top of the tub, and I did stick my hand in there, and it was a little uh, cooler down towards the bottom, but it looks like we're getting some really, really excellent uh, heat transfer. And another way to test this is um, if we take a look at this copper pipe right here. This is the copper pipe basically coming straight out of the solar panel. It goes down, swirls around in here, and then this is the copper pipe coming back out. And if I put my hand on here, that's a nice warm piece of pipe. But after it's gone, swirled through the water, come back out, I put my hand on here, that's pretty cool. It's only very, very, very slightly warm, which means that almost all of the heat from the solar panel is getting transferred into the water here. So it looks like I'm getting some really good heat transfer, which makes me think that uh, if I simply rig up some sort of a large container of water with a length of copper pipe in there and circulate glycol through the solar hot water panel uh, through that copper pipe, um, I should get good heat transfer and I should be able to use this as the basis for a, a basic, inexpensive solar hot water system for my home. Let's <laughs> go.